Hello. I'm going to demonstrate the techniques to get a good DAT file from just about any DXF drawing using CADWorks. The first step is to create a good cutting path from your base DXF drawing. The way I do this is by tracing over the base DXF drawing with a polyline tool. Now to do that, first I'm going to zo uh, zoom in on my drawing so I can see it a little better. The next step is to create a new layer on the drawing because I want to trace over my base drawing and I want that to be on a new layer. So I'm going to go to Format, Layers, create a new layer on that drawing. You'll see that's layer one now. I want to make that layer current by double clicking on it. You'll see here shows it's current. I'm going to change the color so that I know that I'm tracing. I know where the lines are I'm tracing I, just by selecting from the color palette, clicking OK and click OK. Now I have, I'm working on my new layer. You can see I'm on layer one and I'm red. The next thing I want to do is turn on ortho snap. That helps tracing uh, the base drawing by allowing you to snap to endpoints. I'm just going to click on endpoint here, endpoint, or uh, I'm sure I, object snapped in the endpoint, then click OK. Now to begin the tracing, select the polyline tool, and you'll notice that the cursor now snaps to the drawing and using that snapping action I'm simply going to trace around the base drawing following the cutting path that I want the machine to follow when it cuts the foam and you can see this is very easy to do simply let the cursor snap to the point you want, you want it to snap to if I was uh, doing arcs or circles I would just add more segments to simulate the arc and uh, you'll be able to represent any circle or arc you need very easily. And you can see I'm working my way around this drawing pretty quickly. It's a pretty simple process. We're almost halfway now. Uh, this works for any drawing um, and it guarantees a proper conversion to a DAT file. It avoids any kind of the pitfalls with DAT file creation like one line laying over the top of another or uh, lines that aren't contiguous those kind of things see I'm almost completed now here and just get the last couple now to end the polyline uh, drawing you simply right click and select enter if I wanted to have a closed polyline I'd grab this one I want to leave it open I'm just going to hit enter now you can see by new trace drawing is red laying over top of my base drawing now the next step is to get rid of my base drawing and save just my top uh, trace drawing I do that by going back to format layers I'm going to turn my layer one off by clicking on the light bulb so you no longer will see layer one I'm going to make layer zero to the current layer that's the layer I want to work on now click OK and I'm back to my base drawing well we're going to delete that it's easily done by selecting the window tool up here window around the drawing double click at each corner and you'll see the whole thing's highlighted just click delete and it's gone that easy now we're going to go back to format layers we're going to turn our traced layer back on click on the light bulb to turn it on make sure layer one is current now and go back so now what we've done is we've used that base drawing to create a cutting path using uh, following the original base drawing. So that's the first step. Now we've got a good solid cutting path. Now to create the DAT file there's only two more steps. We go to CNC tools, prep drawing. This actually explodes the polyline into individual segments and this should be done before you attempt to do any DAT file conversions. Click OK. Then we go to File, Generate DAT from Sequential Drawing. You'll get a message that says drawing coordinates to the DAT file are complete. Click OK. And there is a rendering, a DXF rendering of your DAT file. Now we just are, we'll save it. Go to File, Save, DAT File. Let's give it a name here. We'll save it on the desktop. We're going to call FW. Click Save, and that DAT file is saved. 
Now, if we want to go back to our original DXF drawing, you click the C, and that goes to the DAT up to the DXF drawing. If you click on this button, the D, it'll go to the DAT file rendering. So let's go to C. We'll get back to our original. Let's save this new traced DXF file. If we go to Save As file and then save as and we'll just call it FW again. I like to add the word modified. That's my way of tracking things that have been converted to uh, cutting paths that I'm, that I'm working with and save it. Now you can confirm your DAT file is good by using CADWorks again. Let's close everything out here. And CADWorks actually, actually will allow you to open a DAT file and render a DXF drawing from that DAT file. So if we go to file open dat file on our desktop here we see the fw dat file right here it'll open up and just like in foamworks you have to provide the horizontal distance so the drawing can render the dxf drawing and scale it to the size we want we're going to put in 10 so 10 inches and there is your rendered dxf drawing from that dat file we just created so i know i've got a solid and clean dat file and my machine will cut following exactly the path that I created with that polyline. So it would start at this point, work my way around, and end here. It's that simple. Hope this helps you.